Many of us are looking at the images and live footage from the current eruption in La Palma. Nature is showing off her power and beauty of a volcano eruption. On the other hand it brings a lot of damage to the people living on the island by destroying homes and farms. How come volcanic eruptions are so common here and what is the volcanic history of La Palma itself? These questions will be answered in this video. If we go back about 20 million years ago you can see how the first islands came into existence. The Canary Islands are part of the African continental plate and the plate flows slowly in an easterly direction. The hotspot theory shows that this movement in the upwards magma flows created the first islands. The oldest are about 20 million years old and the latest islands that came to the surface between 3 and 1 million years ago being La Palma and El Hierro. The hotspot is still beneath those islands and that is why they see a lot of volcano activity. These islands are still growing in surface area. The oldest islands are suffering from erosion. The sea is about 3 kilometers deep which makes the peaks more than 5 kilometers from bottom to top. There is a group of islands that did not make it to the surface and some new ones seem to be growing to the west called the suns. If we take a closer look into La Palma we have to go back to the Pliocene. Some 3 million years ago the first island came into existence. In the following years erosion almost completely dismantled the island. But it would form the basis of the island as we know it today. About 2 million years ago a shield volcano was formed to about a height of 2 kilometers above sea level which is called Garofia. About 1 million years ago it suffered a big landslide on the southern flank causing a depression that would be filled by the lava from new eruptions. On the remains of Garofia a new shield volcano begins to build. Taburiant 1 about 800,000 years ago a giant landslide on the southeast gave birth to the caldera the Taburiant. Eruptions around the caldera kept on going and formed a volcanic island of about 25 kilometers in diameter and almost 2,500 meters in height. Of the ridges that were formed the Cumbre Nueva developed more than the other ridges and 560,000 years ago the Cumbre Nueva ridge collapsed forming the Aridane Valley. A small volcano was formed called Vigena. Volcanic activity stopped about 400,000 years ago on the northern side of the island. Erosion started shaping the northern part of the island and volcanism started towards the south of the island. A new structure came into existence through the stacking of a lot of lava flows. It is called the Cumbre Vieja. If we take a look at the map of what are called, historic eruptions it is clear that they are pretty common on the island with two well-documented eruption alone in the last century, in 1949 and 1971. Especially the one from 1971 which took place on the southernmost tip of the island has great vintage material. The music is a bit old-fashioned but I still hope you like it. The 1971 eruption was a short one which occurred from October 26 to November 28.
Although one person was killed the damage was very much limited due to the location of the eruption and densely populated areas were not damaged. How different is the current eruption? As of the 4th of November 2581 homes are destroyed and 73 kilometers of roads are lost to the lava. The surface covered by the lava is now about 10 square kilometers and is about 1.4% of the whole island's surface. The eruption has now been going on for 46 days and slight signs of decreasing activity seems to be here. Let's hope the damage will stay limited and the lava flows will peacefully find their way to the sea so the island can grow bigger again.